Hello everybody, I'm glad to be here. Today we are going to talk about the indicators. We are going to have four different indicators. Let's say intersection plane. When we are going to have this symbol on left hand side. Orientation plane. When we are going to have this symbol on left hand side and on right hand side. And collection plane. When we are going to have this symbol on left hand side and direction feature when we are going to have this symbol on left hand side. Today we are going to talk about intersection plane indicator. As a first example, we are going to have profile align here and we have this symbol here which is going to represent intersection plane indicator. What does it mean? Parallel to A, we are going to have several planes parallel to A. A is here. As you can see here, we are going to have several planes parallel to A. What we should do? We need to extract the curve between top surface and those parallel plane. For each of them, we are going to extract a curve. That curve should be between two parallel curves with this TZ 0.04. We are going to extract the curve by having, by using this symbol. And that extracted curve should be in this TZ. Let's see second example. Here at the bottom, we are going to have this parallel of top surface respect to D. And we have this intersection plane indicator parallel to C. We are going to have many planes parallel to C as it is shown here, we need to extract the line between those plane parallel to C and top surface. We are going to have many lines and each line should be in that tolerance zone, 0.2. As you have understood, in this page we need to extract the curve or lines and that extracted line or curve should be in that tolerance. Let's see another example here. At top, we are going to have this straightness and TZ is 0.1. And we have this intersection plane indicator parallel to A. A is here. We are going to have many planes parallel to A. We need to extract the line, the intersection line between those parallel plane to A and this top surface. And the extracted line should be between two parallel lines with this TZ 0.1. At the bottom, we are going to have the same, but here it is perpendicular to A. We are going to have several planes per perpendicular to A. We need to extract the lines between those perpendicular planes to A and this top surface, and then those extracted lines should be in this TZ between two lines, two parallel lines with this TZ, 0.1. Let's see in the middle. Here, here in the middle, when we have this straightness, 0.1, it means in this direction. Easily we can see in this direction. Here, the middle, on left hand side, we have this one. It means in this direction, a straightness in this direction. As we can see in 2D, we can, we can say, okay, in which direction? But if we are going to use this symbol on 3D, it is needed to mention in which direction. It is good to mention in which direction. That's why we need to have this intersection plane indicator in, on 3Ds. As we can see, here it is parallel to A, here it is perpendicular to A, but in 2D, easily we can show it in which direction we would like to have this straightness. Let's see another example here, profile, a line here. We have this, let's say, intersection plane. We are going to have several plane parallel to A. We need to extract the curves between those parallel planes and this top surface and each of them should be in that tolerance zone, 0.04. We can see we are going to have 
two parallel curves here and each extracted curve should be in that tolerance zone. It means in that direction, plane parallel to A, we are going to extract the curve. And here it is the last, last example here in 2D, when we are going to show this straightness in this direction, it means in this direction, a straightness that is important for us. But in 3D, when we are going to have this straightness, it is needed to use this intersection plane indicator to highlight in which direction do we like to have this straightness. Here it is parallel to A. We are going to have many planes parallel to A. We need to extract the lines between those parallel planes and this top surface. And those extracted lines should be in this TZ 0.1 as it is highlighted here. Now I would like to close this session regarding intersection plane indicator. Next session, I'm going to talk about orientation plane indicator and other indicators. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.